Welcome back to my YouTube channel dolls. My name is called Tab of Giselle. If you're joining me for the first time, thank you so much for stopping by and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. In today's Vlogmas video, I'm gonna be showing you how to achieve this festive makeup from start to finish. So I really hope you enjoyed it. I kept it quite neutral in terms of the eyes. I did smoke it out a little bit with a bit of um, dark, deep browns. And then for the lips, I just went for a standard red, but I kind of darkened it a little bit just to give it that sort of like cranberry kind of um, deep red look. Um, Cause I just think it looks very nice on my complexion. So yeah, I really kept it nice and easy, simple and straightforward. So I really hope that you enjoy this look. It's such a quick, easy look to do this festive. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy everything. And for everything that I've used, I'll put it in the description box below. So yeah, let's get started with today's Vogmas video. So guys, to start off the makeup look, I'm going in with my primer. This is the best primer ever in life. And this is the Infallible from L'Oreal. It is the matte um, primer. It's just super, super perfect. It gives you the best canvas ever in terms of your coverage and really makes your makeup last longer. So I apply that and then I just blend it in. Then after that, I move on to foundation. My foundation, I'm using the NYX Born to Glow foundation and the Revlon Color Stay foundation. And I think they're both in the shade Caramel, if I'm not mistaken. I like to mix them both because the Color Stay, as you can see, is a bit darker and the Born to Glow is a little bit lighter, depending on which time of the year it is. So I like to mix them to get the perfect um, sort of shade for my complexion and then I literally apply those with my brush and then blend it out with a beauty blender Then after that, I move on to applying concealer. For my concealer, I use the ALF Hydrating Camo Concealer and it's the satin finish. It's in the shade Tan Sand, if I'm not mistaken, but if I'm wrong, I'll list it in the description box below. I apply that onto the areas where I want to highlight. If you guys haven't already checked out my highlight and contour video, do check it out and you can know a bit more about highlighting and contouring then whilst my concealer is sort of um, marinating onto my face um, I like to go in with my bronzer the bronzer that I'm using is from Refi Beauty and it is in the shade tan it's such a nice bronzer it just melts into the skin and it lasts all day long literally I absolutely love this um, bronzer um, really really perfect and I'm just using the brush as well that go comes along with it so yep just blending that in and then after I start to blend out my concealer concealer is blended out I set it with my Too Faced translucent powder again this is such a perfect powder guys if you want a powder that's translucent 
and that's going to make your skin look absolutely flawless this is the foundation to definitely try i absolutely love it so much so i'm applying that underneath my eyes to set my makeup and with my beauty blender all over the areas where i highlighted with the lighter concealer then we're going to move on to the eyes for the eyes we're going to be using this palette here from Too Faced this is the Born This Way the Natural Nudes palette which is my favorite favorite palette of all time and then I am literally going to be using this shade here of brown called Maple and I'm going to be applying that onto my eyelid and blending that out with a blending brush as you can see and then afterwards I'm going to move on to applying um, maple and a bit of truffle and I'm going to apply that onto my lower lash area um, just to smoke out that area and to sort of define it a bit more you guys already know that I do this in all my like makeup looks it's just a touch that I like to have and then after I'm going to move on to mascara for my mascara I'm using a Rimmel London mascara but I will list it again in the description box below guys because I can't remember the name of it um, so I'm just applying that to my lashes before going in with some falsies um, so that's what I'm doing And then for my lips I do move on to my lips straight after and I'm just using this shade called so chic from Berry Am cosmetics it's the liquid lipstick you guys already know that I use this on most of my like lip um, looks because it's just such a good base for all my like lip looks that I like to go for and for this particular look I really wanted to deepen it up so I went in with this shade of brown and then literally applied the Fenty Beauty Stunner lipstick on top of this liquid lipstick and it is just looked so perfect it gave it the cranberry look that I was literally after so that's what I did and then afterwards I go in with my lashes um, and these lashes I just bought them from a local sort of um, hair shop so nothing fancy but I'll list it again in the description box below for you guys and then um, before I apply my eyelashes I did go in with my highlighter this is the highlighter that I use and it is from Maybelline it's the face studio I think it's called extreme um, highlighter or something along those lines again I'll list it in the description box below apply that onto the center of my nose and onto the upper part of my cheekbones just to bring the look out a bit more and then yeah I did my lashes off camera like I showed you guys and then I'm spraying my setting spray which is the radiant setting spray from NYX cosmetics absolutely love this and then literally guys that is the look as you can see it is just a nice 
sort of smoky brownish with a cranberry like lippy to match it and I just think it's so perfect for um, the festive um, time and for a festive party look whatever you decide really hope you enjoyed this festive makeup look do leave me some feedback in the comment section below i'll list everything in the description so do check that out if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one thanks so much for joining me bye dolls Mwah.